Hello everyone! So for today, I am going to teach you how to approximate non-perfect square roots. For example, we have square root of 20. Now, the nearest square root of 20 that has a perfect square is square root of 16, which is equivalent to 4. Now, using this number here, number 4, we could simply put it down there. Then, what you want to do is um, put a plus sign, then a fraction sign, in which you will put the 20 here. Then you're going to want to minus it to the square root that was used for us to get a perfect square, so which is 16. Then, at the bottom, you're going to put 2 times the number of um, the perfect square that was used, which is 4. Now, we used, um, we used 2 because there's always, a, um, th there's always a 2 in a square root. Now, we have this, right? So, just um, calculate, which, which will turn to this, 4 plus um, 4 over 8. Now, for us to calculate this, let's divide it. 4 divided by 8. We know that we can't divide 8 to 4 because 8 is bigger than 4. So we're going to put 0 first, then a decimal. So 4 minus 0 is 4. Then put a, put a decimal here and add 0. So now we can divide 8 to 40 because we bring down 0. Now, 40 divided by 80 is 5. Now, we have 0 0.5 here. Let's just um, rewrite this in the form like that. Now, we have 4 plus 0 0.5, right? Now, we'll just simply add it. 4.5. And that's how you approximate non-perfect square roots. So let's um, try it on a calculator. Um, if we simply, if we calculate square root of 20, let's see what see we have here 4.47 in which if we round it off to um, one decimal place, um, we will have 4.5. So that's how you approximate non-perfect square roots.